Good afternoon. This is Dr. Kathleen Becker. I'm currently Vice President of the Eastern Region of the Poetry Society of Virginia, and I'm delighted to have with me Terry Cox Joseph, who is President of the Poetry Society of Virginia. We will be having an Eastern Region poetry reading on May 7th in Williamsburg, and Terry is unable to attend with us, so we are taping this introduction, and it will be posted with the readings from the May 7th event. So, Terry, please uh, say a few words for us. Thank you. Welcome, and I'm so happy to be here, and I'm looking forward to hearing everyone's poems. Um, this May is a kickoff presentation for the centennial for the Poetry Society because we started in 1923. I cannot believe it. We are 100 years old. And this whole year, year and a half, actually, we will be having fabulous activities and Kathleen's event is one of them. And also it's May, which means Mother's Day. So I have a little poem here to start out with. And it's not very long, I hope. Uh, so I'll just start letters from home. One, elongated script, delicate as an engraved wedding invitation. My mother's handwriting through raves from Santa Monica to DC. She caressed pages with ink that danced as cheerfully as the Charleston. Dipped with delicate descenders, deliberate ascenders, lying crossbars, calligraphic precision her trademark. Two, when I was 10, she wrote me at Camp Chiwen every day. From beneath the salon dryer, she scripted her activities, anchored me to home. Had there been a contest, I would have won. Stacks of mail awaited me daily outside mess hall. Friends trudged the dirt path empty-handed. Three, correspondence, invitations, thank you notes, mom's legacy. I flunked handwriting in third grade, left-handed curls forbidden. Palmer method slanted 20 degrees windward. It never dashed my love of writing, merely fueled disdain for my teacher, fool. I knew I could slant leeward for the rest of my life, as long as I kept my manners, RSVP and in time, the way mom taught me to. Thank you and start celebrating. Thank you very much, Terry. Um, indeed, because it is a May uh, poetry reading for the Eastern region, our theme is in fact motherhood. Ed Lull probably will be reading one written by Edgar Allan Poe, and then Emily Pease will be reading one written by um, Karen Wood, and I will be reading the one written by Ann Spencer. And the theme will be Mother's Day in Virginia, because of course, um, all three of those authors are native or at least Virginian um, citizens. Um, Edgar Allan Poe, of course, founded the Poetry Society of Virginia. And he wrote a very interesting poem, which is about his mother and his adoptive mother and his um, second adoptive mother who was also his aunt. And then it also refers to his wife, Virginia. And so there's a lot of very different spins on motherhood in one short little poem from Edgar Allan Poe. And I was unable to find a poem that I, that where Ann Spencer, who was uh, African-American poet from Virginia, earlier in the century, I couldn't find a specific poem on motherhood from her, but she was a little bit like me. She used to write nature poems, which had at least double meanings, if not triple. So she actually has a poem about a spider that is about women, but it's not really about mothering. And so instead I chose a poem, which will be read um, at the event um, that she wrote, which is about how John Browning, um, Elizabeth Browning's husband was so unfortunate never to have lived in Virginia. So I thought that was very funny. And so we will be covering the themes of both motherhood and Virginia in our presentation. And we thank you so much for being with us um, in spirit and for doing such a fantastic job of leading the Poetry Society for the last couple of years now. So thank you for being with us today, Terry. Thank you.